So this is one of these hard ones where the whole sentence is underlined. Here we'll focus on first the modifiers. The modifier published in Harlem, the owner. So that's a misplaced modifier because obviously the owner and editor were not published in Harlem. Published in Harlem, two young journalists. Again, another hanging modifier. Published in Harlem, the messenger. Alleluia. Finally, that's modifying the thing it should modify. In D, we have the messenger was owned. And then way at the end of the sentence, we have published in Harlem. We're playing the same game as B. Both B and D seem to be playing the game. Separate the noun from the modifier by putting them at opposite ends of the sentence. So this should not be at an opposite end of the sentence and the noun is modifying. So that's incorrect. In E, we have the owner and editor being two young journalists. This is a very awkward and unclear phrase here. And whenever you see the word being, a flag should go up anyway in your mind. It's rarely correct on sentence correction. And here, it makes the whole sentence somewhat awkward. So even though the messenger was published in Harlem, that part is joined well. The problem is with this whole awkward phrase at the beginning of the sentence. So E is out also. And right away, that just leaves C. C has published in Harlem. The messenger was owned and edited by two young journalists. So all that is perfectly clear. A. Philip Randolph, the great labor leader. He's modified appropriately by the clause. So C is direct. It is sleek. It is free of grammatical error. And it is by far the best answer choice.